Hello everyone and welcome in. Thanks for hanging out after the stream. We've got a wonderful night tonight here on Overtime. We're going to have Flamey in a post-game kind of press conference interview. There he is on the screen. Connor's with me to introduce the uh, shot style power segment powered by CS Money. And then finally, we'll top it all off with young Igor doing a little bit of fragging Stein. Stick around to Blast Overtime. Yes, yes, y'all, it is that time of night. We're going into the post-game stream. It's always nice to do an interview after the games are all done. Uh, Flamey, thanks for joining us, man. I, I can't remember the last time I've seen an, uh, an English interview with you. Do you, all, do you often do um, them? Yeah, I was doing this before, but uh, then I lost my tooth, and I didn't do an interview just because <laughs> of this. Okay. Now I got it back, and I can do it. Did you get a fake one? Um, yeah, a couple. Oh, okay, all nice. Right. Yeah, it looks They're good all now. Fake. Yeah, it's oh, a great nice, smile, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, we have sometimes, like you guys, when you play online and stuff, you must play with a lot of like English-speaking people, right? Everyone seems to learn other people's languages. Do you get that too? Um, sometimes, yeah, because uh, in Russia, you always when you play face it, for example, you play against some European guys, so yeah. you speak English, yeah. yeah. How how do you how's life in um, in in Russia? As a, are you, when you go out in the street, do you ever get recognized? Do you live in Moscow? Yeah, I live in Moscow. You ever get I recognized? Think, yeah, a lot, but uh, for some young guys, like from school, yeah. there's uh, so much people who knows you everywhere, like on street, when yeah. I walk, sometimes some people come and ask for a photo, stuff like this. Oh, no way. Yeah, in Moscow, it's, uh, CSGO is very popular. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Yeah. Do you have like, a, like, what's the most popular, is it the most, one of the most popular games? I know Dota is really popular too. I think, yeah, I think even CS more popular than Dota now because oh, yeah? uh, when the Dota just came, uh, Dota was more popular, but now I think it's CSGO. Mm. It's good to hear. Yeah, yeah, good that's awesome, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm proud to hear that. Um, it's really cool to like learn about other people's countries. And obviously, you guys just qualified um, after topping your group, beating everyone in the group. You guys are gonna move on to the spring final in Moscow. Were you really, were you worried? Be honest, were you worried when you played against Astralis um, on Inferno? I think when we, Oh, in Inferno, yeah. <laughs> we were losing 13-6, um, but we still were really confident in our city side. Even we took some one round, and we ch just started to play better, better, and better. We started to communicate really well, and mm -hmm. uh, everything works. So we were confident, but it was a really hard game. You've been uh, playing B and doing such a good job. In fact, we've got like a few highlights of you uh, playing uh, on B as like the rotator in. What's the what's some of the challenges or like what is hard about playing B on Inferno? Um, we have some setups on B with Boomage and uh, it really works now because uh, it's kind of new stuff, you know. And uh, uh, now I'm playing more support role and uh, I like it, but you need to communicate really well to make it work because mm -hmm. if we communicate bad, we you can see the first day we communicated bad and we lost without any chances. Mm. And yeah, Simple in the interview said that like everybody had a moment to shine and for you, for you we talked about you, we brought you up, we're, we're going to talk about it on Fragenstein, but in terms of positioning, he was, he was your, he, uh, sorry, you were his pick in terms of positioning yeah. for the most, for the best player at positioning and it's like when you play certain spots like you on overpass on the, the barrels in the B site or, like or you nuke on, ramp. Or nuke yeah. ramp. Yeah, and now it's feel like Inferno B site is becoming that new one for you. Yeah. You know, it's just those those solid positions, those big 3K spray downs. We've seen you peek through CT smoke and just line up frags like that. So, um, yeah. So what 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 do you say? What would you say defines your style? But what, what is your um, style of play? I think my style is more like aim, but uh, right now I'm working a lot with my coach to to play more smart, you know, mm. and uh, we discuss a lot of things and uh, when I play more smart, uh, I have good aim, I think, and uh, it works. I just need to be confident and uh, stuff like this, yeah, we know. Well, yeah, so, I mean, right now with your new iteration and, um, uh, like, the new structure on Navi, do you echo, do, do you feel the same way as Simple when he said this is, like, your favorite version of Navi? Um, 
it's still kind of new squad, but I really like how we play, how we communicate, how we how we do outside the game, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a really young roster. It never was before like this because it's now 21 years old, average old, uh, average age. Average age, yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah that is kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah, and you're 22 yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm the oldest player. <laughs> you're the oldest player? Yeah, you're the I'm 22. Uh, you know. On the team, you have been around for so long, and it's crazy. Like, I was just looking at, like, all the tournaments that you've played with them, and when you first came on the team, you were the you were the simple of the team, if you would. You were the star. You were yeah. the guy that they counted on so much. But after all this time and, and watching how the squad has developed, do you feel like you're bringing uh, your experience more to the team? Um, for experience, I guess Blade is giving us a lot because he was a, yeah, the, the guy who teach me when I started playing. Yeah, that's right. He oh, was, that's he right. was a, yep. he was oh, a yeah. guy who played with me in the same team and. Yeah. Now he is doing for this for us, and uh, sometimes I'm just uh, trying to help our team and say some good words. Like um, I remember the round on Nuke when versus Astralis, uh, someone said let's buy, and the uh, Boomish said let's do semi buy, and uh, we were a bit uh, confused because we could buy, but we did semi buy, and I said stuff like, guys, uh, let's take this round, and we will get even more money. Don't be, don't rage on this stuff and stuff oh, yeah. like this. Yeah. And I, I'm trying to f help my team as much as I can. Uh, and you're not normally like that, right? You're, uh, you're like, uh, are you a little bit more uh, quiet when it comes to that yeah, stuff? Yeah, I really, I, li I like never rage, you know. Yeah. I'm just a calm player and I'm trying to hear my teammates. We, we, we see that with the reactions, I'd say, even when you guys aren't, let's say, raging, but just excited. Um, you know, Simple's popping off with his hands, Boomich is dancing now. It's like the energy <laughs> is very clearly good, um, but yet you are still clearly one of the more quiet and reserved. Yeah, because when I'm, if I'm gonna do this, I will, can, I can lose my focus in game, you know, when mm -hmm. I can, I'm trying to just focus on my game and yeah. uh, cross head. Nice. Okay, so besides that, trying to, you're saying like Blade's trying to help you play more smart. What does that mean exactly? Uh, I mean, he's like teaching us uh, what we need to do in some crucial situations and well, like four, like four versus five, five. What you need, what you don't need to pick, for example, or mm -hmm. you just don't play over aggressive. If you pick something, go back and stuff like this. It's easy, but uh, it's not easy in game. You know, it's yeah. sometimes you are like forgive or not forgive. Uh, forget. Forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forget what you want to do, and he he's showing us our mistakes and. Uh, we need to fix it as fast as possible. Certainly, Zeus brought a lot of leadership in that re in regard. Um, and as much as like it's a team decision to uh, have moved on from Zeus, you still have to fill some of what he brought, right? So does Blade bring in what Zeus had left? Um, I think it's not Blade. It's like all team, you know. Mm. And when Zeus left, we said that we don't have a guy like Zeus, but we can do it like a team. Mm -hmm. So we are all five doing this. We are popping each, uh, how to say, like cheering for each, each other, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like supporting each supporting other, propping each, each other, other up, yeah. 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 Every yeah. round. So Zeus doesn't necessarily bring in, or excuse me, Blade doesn't necessarily bring in that same leadership and, and energy that, that, let's say, Zeus would, but does he still bring in kind of like a, a seriousness, yeah, a yeah, professionalism? Because really, really, yeah. the average age, you say, is like 21, yeah. but, but, you know, he's at least the older. I think he's bringing a lot because he, we have big like graphic for all tournaments for all practice already for three months for example like we'll know what when we're gonna uh, have vacation when we're gonna play when we're gonna practice and stuff like this it's all very we have very good discipline now yeah so people want to know more about you though okay you don't do a lot of the interviews in english and now people want to learn about you so how was your vacation did you go anywhere cool oh um, yeah i was in dubai oh you went nice. to dubai that's really that's awesome did you go with anyone uh, yeah, with my girlfriend. Oh, cool, man. How long did you spend there? Ten days. Ten days, it yeah. It was good, yeah. Uh, it was my first time after a tournament in 2014, I guess, but I didn't see anything because of the tournament, and now I saw the like whole city, and it was good. Oh, cool. Would you go back? Mm, sometime, maybe one day, but... It's like a vacation spot, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Was yeah, it yeah. The I, I like more... Um, like beach. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, a couple nice beaches. Yeah. Oh, yeah. don't worry. I went to Thailand. I got, I got some spots for you, man. <laughs> I'll hook you up on, on the next player break. No problem. I was in Thailand too. Oh, you were in Thailand too. Okay, yeah. we can talk about that as well in a bit. But first, we're gonna have uh, our, our very special segment coming up. We've got the shot style powered by CS Money. Nailed it. <laughs> Ski.
skins because you got to look good if you want to play good, right? That's what people talk about. It's a so fact. It is. It is an actual absolute fact. So we're going to start off with uh, electronic, electronics inventory today, Mohan. A little, a little Navi flavor, I believe. Yes, this is nice. He's got. Uh, this is the first time we've actually seen a set of driver gloves. Okay, this is kind of rare. You know who has these? James Bardolph. Oh, so okay. So they're all sorts of popular. But uh, the purple and blue driver gloves for electronic. Obviously, we see this guy buying. I think he can be praised for being able to play lots of different weapons. So that MP9, clearly, very nice mix. The purples, the blues, it's all quite nice. It, it actually reminds me a little bit of Simple. Remember, yesterday we talked about Simple's neon pink and neon light blue. This is kind of similar. But obviously, we have this all the time. This Butterfly Doppler Ruby, Man, I feel like it's the most popular knife, just hands down, with everybody. So, props to Electronic, he's splashing the cash, he's adding that one to the collection. Yeah. And the Radiation Hazard. I personally use the M4 Radiation Hazard, so uh, he gets an extra point from me, and you can see how it goes in with the reds and the uh, deep purples Okay, too. Connor, but stop the niceties. What would you improve upon in this inventory? What would I improve upon? I'm getting rid of that Tiger Moth. <laughs> okay, yeah. I just don't like the pattern. I mean, what's going on with the orange? It's black on the handle in the front. Uh, there are nicer Kriegs out there. Okay. So I'm gonna let that one slide. But the Empress, we're gonna come back to that. We have somebody special who also has the Empress. Take note, a very popular AK-47. Okay, let's Let's waste no time. Where do we got next? Second inventory is going to be Glaive, the in-game leader of Astralis, the team that had quite a rough adventure, Mohan, this week. Um, obviously going 0-2 in the group, but here he is regardless. Specialist kimono gloves, we go back to the red and black. Device had the exact same thing once upon a time, and if I'm not mistaken, still does. So it's kind of Astralis colors. You can understand where it comes from. They're basically in the game at this point. You couple that with the red line AK from Russia with love. He's got the Astralis stickers on another red line. Clearly a popular uh, weapon for him. Um, but I want to take a closer look at one more skin before we move past the shot style. Oh, wow. Special skin coming up. What and is it? that is the AK-47 of no one other than Device. Oh. I mentioned that Electronic has an AK-47 Empress, but so does device. And uh, this skin just deserves more attention in general. The reds, the golds, it all just flows like the majestic hair of our empress here in the center of the skin. You combine that with the midnight blue, you've got yourself something special. It so, really pops. <clears throat> skins, baby. Right. All, all the more often. Lip -smacking. I mm. love it. The passion again, <laughs> infectious. And that's it for Shot Style powered by CS Money. And now for the piece de resistance. We've got young Igor joining us and becoming a fragging stein. Here we are, the cook in the kitchen, Igor himself. We're gonna be putting together, for those of you who don't know, the ideal teammate or ideal player. We've got in each category, a player from each team in this week's groups. And from, the, from each column, you're gonna pick the best player or the player you feel like is the best yeah. for their one quality <clears throat> at the top. So we're gonna start over here. And we're gonna start over here with positioning. Uh, and with positioning, you get to pick from yeah. any of the complexity players from what your experience is playing against complexity, yeah. who would you feel would you'd like to take the um, positioning from? Yeah. Mm, I would pick Poison. Poison, okay, yeah. tell us why. We wanted I to ask you about Poison because yeah. you did some opping on Mirage. Yeah. You guys were opping against each other uh, on that map. What's your, what's, your, what's your thoughts about Poison? First of all, he has the same surname as me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that helps. <laughs> Great reason. <laughs> <laughs> then I think he's a really good sniper, you know? When I was watching the game Complexity versus Astralis, he was uh, like, even overplayed a device for, uh, he had like 11-0 or stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, so 11 and really, uh, When you play 11-0 against device, you are one of the best snipers so already. I have a question. We saw him do the same thing versus Zaiwu versus Vitality, just kind of beating the AWPer. Uh, were any of the snipers, was Simple scared today of poison? Mm, to be honest, no, I don't think so, because no. Simple is never scared. <laughs> <laughs> I remember once, the only time I've ever heard Simple say he was like uh, worried was it was because he was facing Guardian a long time ago. Yeah. Guardian was the only opera that he ever thought of as better than yeah, him. Yeah, it was Im impossible to play. When we played with his Guardian team, when you play against him mixes, it was like unreal to kill him. Really? Yeah, like, it was that good. Wow. It's so cool to hear that from your perspective, because you get to like, you see what it feels like when they peek you, right? Okay, so now we're gonna move on to aim. We're just talking about that. We've yeah. got all of we've got all of Astralis here. There are yeah, some natural choices. They all have really good aim, you know. But I would pick Magisk. Magisk, okay. Yeah. That's actually um, uh, that's actually Magisk two times in a row that he's been picked for aim. Is is there anybody who competes uh, with Magisk on yeah, aim? Yeah, I think close? Dupree, but 
now Mage is a little bit, a little bit better for me, and uh, he's really good aimer. So. Yeah. Do you, he sometimes he's the guy that cracks open the B site. Yeah. Yeah. He's I the remember guy his deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you got to be on the receiving of the end of that sometimes. Um, do you ever watch any of the demos uh, of these players? Yeah, of course. We watching like all team, but you see the highlights or stuff like all these players doing. Yeah. Yeah. And you can learn a thing or two and. Yeah. Uh, and from your teammates, you might learn a thing or two. We've got communication yeah. up next, and now you've Eric. got a pick. You can pick yourself if you want no, to. No, no, I'm not the best in communication. Okay, who's got the best communication? Electronic. Oh my Ooh. God, electronic! I did not expect yeah, that. Yeah, he's talking so much. He knows. He knows everything. You know, he's like. He I knows think everything. He's the best player in the world. He's the best player in the world. Yeah, very simple. With simple. With simple. Okay. You know, when we were making this in the basement of the hotel, simple walked by, and we actually quickly, we, we stopped him, and we said, yeah. "Hey, man, choose from your team." Who's up there with you? You know, who do you keep your eye on? He said electronic as well, so this is praise from within Navi. I want to know more about this. We don't hear anybody talk about this. It feels like electronic. He doesn't get a enough uh, attention because yeah, you're playing because with simple and everything simple, like yeah. that. Tell me, tell me more about this. What, what um, makes his communication so good? And, and what do you mean by he knows everything? Yeah, you know, he's like very, very smart player and he's movement god, like he, people call him. And uh, when you outplay your uh, enemy, not only on aim, but uh, he communicates a lot with uh, all our players. And uh, I think he's doing the best from our team. Maybe Boomich is the second, but mm. electronic. Does he make decisions for the rounds as well? Does he call strats? Yeah, he's like, Second caller sometimes, sometimes he calls, and same with simple, like three people from our team calls, simple boomish and electronic, but boomish like 95%. Oh, wow. Wow, that's really interesting. That's so cool. That's why we love to have these uh, segments. We get that kind of insight. You say he talks a lot electronic. Does he ever calm too much? Is it ever kind of crazy? No, no, he's like talking only good information, you know, mm. not the uh, random stuff. He's talking only what, what he knows. Who's talking, uh, the, who's talking the bad information? Mm. No one. <laughs> Good answer. I mean, that's how you guys top the group, right? Didn't lose the game. So that's it. Uh, now we go on to the clutch factor. Who's the guy you want in the 1v1 who you can trust to lock down the round every yeah, single time? Of course, it's Zavu, but uh, I like RPK. Not like in clutch, but I like RPK. Really? Yeah. Is that the official choice? No, no, I would choose Zavu. Okay. okay, yeah. Close, but you, have to, you have to pick a if second you choice because obviously. Pick, like, the best team in the world. Yeah, it's, yeah he's that yeah. guy. Um, do you, uh, so with RPK, that's, that's actually. Because that's actually uh, kind I of was playing Source, you know, and I yeah. was like big fanboy of him. RPK God, yeah. Yeah, I was fanboy. That's yeah, why I tank. wanted to pick and Shocks, of course. You know what? I would say you, you and you and RPK play. You have like a very similar yeah. play style. Yeah. I was going to say you're you're on a quite a not not super low sense, but it's like uh, at one point six yeah, at four hundred. One point four. At one point four, somewhere. Four hundred. Four hundred. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then uh, it feels like you you try not to flick around too much. Yeah, right? yeah. A lot of the kills come to you. Is that uh, the way that you? play or just the thing that just how it happens um i think yeah it's like the way i play because i don't like i, I like to move smooth now mm -hmm. like smoothly yeah, yeah smoothly not instead like, of flicking yeah, yeah. not like this and then when i play even i'm bots or like that much i don't move like this i move smooth okay cool All right. yeah and uh, rpk I, I feel like you're you, you guys are honestly a spitting image you just got sharper hair puts a shark <laughs> fin you don't have that that's cool well okay now we've uh, put together the, the Fragenstein. Player. Yeah, that's the Fragenstein. I think we've got a pretty good roster right here. Um, and it was super cool to hear about Electronic on the comms. Love that. And I think uh, so are the people at home. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for being on the show. I want to shake your uh, Rubbermaid yellow <laughs> your gloves. rubber hands, my yes, friend. Yes, that's wonderful. Cheers, um, Flamey. And make sure you take your pictures, guys, and screenshots. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a wonderful image that should rest in your, in your mind for the rest of your life. That is it for overtime tonight. It's the end of week two. It was a fantastic week of games and a fantastic couple of shows. <laughs> two and for fantastic two. Fantastic having guests like Flamey to come on and share their insight and have a little fun. So if you want uh, more of this and you want uh, different kinds of segments or you want to give feedback or anything like that, hit us up on the, all the socials, whether it's at Lawners, at Scrawny CG, Blast Premiere on all platforms. That's the place to do it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us this week, and we'll be back again for next week. Take it easy. Good night.